welcome back to part 2 of the video uh, thank you for watching part 1 and staying with us till part 2 we set out from Rurki to Quantum University uh, a distance of about 22 kilometers let's take you there and see what happens <laughs> Check out the SOC when we left Roorkee. The road from Roorkee to Quantum was really bad. There were highways there which were under construction and instead of potholes being in the roads, there were a little bit of road in between the potholes. And there was a lot of muck but the cars were able to handle it with ease. However, we went slow and it was a very arduous journey. And uh, so we got to Quantum University quite tired. Quantum, this is what our SOC was. So at Quantum University, we had a wonderful interaction with the staff and the students. The staff told us that they have a special course over here called Electric Vehicle Technology EVT and uh, they were very interested to lo look at these live electric vehicles to interact with electric vehicle users and they were surprised to know that we've been driving for more than five years. And so at the Quantum University, we had an inauguration uh, function actually for the zero bill charger which was installed, which is permanently going to be available on the Recharge India app as well. And we were really thrilled and er extremely excited. We got a lot of detailed technical questions in fact, about the batteries, the uh, charge capacity of the battery, how quickly it charges up, what kind of electricity, whether it's one phase or three phase or how many kilowatts the line needs to be and the kind of motor which was installed and whether it has a transmission or not no gearbox, uh, maintenance issues, our usage of the uh, car itself. Of course, we answered them all as best as we could. Ranjan, Damnesh, Rafe, Farah, Abhishek, all of us were busy interacting with different different groups of students. So this was our visit at Quantum. We were fully recharged and we left for Dehradun. So we got recharged, our cars got recharged, the students got charged up and the staff was so happy about it. And overall, a good meeting, a really good meeting at Quantum University. And then we went on towards the ghats of Dehradun. Cards from Quantum University, we noticed that the sky is actually blue, and this is something we hadn't seen for a long time. Uh, Damnish had a parts per million ppm meter, and we were constantly measuring the levels uh, above 390 at Delhi, and they so slowly were they were dropping to below 100 over here. And as we reached, uh, were nearing Dehradun, it was getting clearer and clearer. The roads were very nice now, and the ghats were long, winding, beautiful, scenic, everything you could have expected from a drive in the mountains and the ghats, the cars perform beautifully, none of us needed to use the boost mode, we were always in forward mode and that means that we weren't even using half the capacity of the motor installed in the car. This is the SOC when we reached Dehradun. Welcome Ranjan to Dehradun, uh, how was your experience Thank driving you, up the ghats? It was good fun. Yeah. Earlier, uh, in the beginning I was a bit apprehensive whether, whether this car would make it or not. Uh, but after driving up for about three to four kilometers, I think I just drove very normally uh, as I would uh, in other cars and uh, managed to cover the distance of 51 odd kilometers with 
still 20%, 21% charge remaining, uh, which was actually uh, much um, easier than driving last night through all the rain and, you know, uh, with all, all all the components working. But yeah. today was good fun. And we heard loud music playing. Yeah, yeah, everything. I was enjoying myself driving. Yeah, absolutely. Perfect. We covered uh, 52 kilometers and we started at 1 o'clock. So, and we took a decent break in between, around an hour. It was a good drive. We first time I saw the SOC increasing. Wonderful. That was the, one of the objective of this trip. <laughs> so that's also achieved. Yeah, tell us uh, your experience of the f driving for on the ghat for the first time. Amazing. So it was pretty interesting going up and down and. Uh, so there's a you know I mean we we always have that anxiety about the DT. So it was drastically going down, but then we got regen, and that was a good moment for us. So we were able to do it in 52 kilometers in 53 SOC. So we finally reached Dehradun. At Dehradun, we stayed at Nature Science Initiative, which is the home of doctors Somya and Raman, and they were host. At Dehradun, uh, we are grateful for them, to them for our stay. Uh, they are a, a group of people who believes in sustainable living, uh, solar energy, wind power, rainwater harvesting, bamboo houses, and a lot of other things. Uh, they put us in touch with a group called Been There, Done That, which is a Dehradun based group which is interested in nature, sustainability, and ecosystem. And they have these walking tours which they conduct for an hour, an hour and a half, which will introduce you to the natural beauty of the area around. So right after, after that inspiring walk, uh, we had an event planned by Been There, Dundath and Plug in India and NDS Motors and Okinawa and of course there were three Mahindra cars there. We introduced about a hundred people to electric vehicles. They drove the scooters and took test rides and they looked at the car and figured out what all systems the car has. And this was an introduction for the first time for all of these people to electric vehicles and the fact that they can actually climb ghats and hills and do a whole bunch of things. Uh, my name is Lokesh Ori and I'm part of this uh, group called Been There Doing That. So in short, it is BTDT and the full form is Been There Doing That. Uh, Been There Doing That is a group of uh, people who have come together and decided to walk, to see the heritage of Dehradun, to look at the nature, to look at birds. The idea is to get people together, to get people to talk about more sustainable cities, uh, protecting our heritage, protecting nature. We have about a following of about 60,000 people on the social media. Each walk that we do attracts over 100 people. It's catching on and we are very happy to have uh, Plug in India here today with us to show all the electric vehicles and this has added a new dimension to the sustainability uh, that we are trying to propagate and I hope a lot of people will uh, look at these cars and bikes and adopt them in their daily lives uh, which will make a great difference to our city. Thank you. Hi, I am uh, Gautam Talukdar and uh, I am a regular walker of the BTDT group and uh, I am also a walk leader for the same. We end up uh, carrying out uh, regular walks on Sunday mornings and uh, the idea is to basically familiarize people about uh, the different uh, parts of Dehradun, the uh, trails which are normally not walked upon, familiarize them with that so that uh, they know more about the history as well as the uh, natural heritage of the city. Uh, we also try to sensitize the people about uh, the different activities they can carry out, whether it is related to waste management or uh, sustainable lifestyles. And today morning we had a wonderful experience uh, in the cantonment area uh, where uh, the walk leader uh, uh, Ms. Tanvi, she showed around the cantonment and subsequently we are here in the Mahindra grounds uh, to see the electric vehicles and the different aspects how we can have sustainable living uh, in terms of uh, energy efficiency as well as uh, 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 various models of electric vehicles uh, that are currently available. There are a lot of uh, uh, teething problems which people had who used electric vehicles about five, six years back. But uh, 
now these vehicles are more stabilized and uh, you can find out more about them if uh, you uh, plug into their group that is plug in india i believe yeah so this was a wonderful experience we did a few test drives here i am really quite uh, happy at the performance uh, i did expect a much weaker performance by the electric vehicles but yes uh, uh, they are really nice uh, and uh, i hope uh, to go in or switch in for a electric vehicle pretty soon thank you so an interesting point to note is that we are running on almost entirely renewable energy uttarakhand has 85% of hydroelectric power and the house that we stayed at nature science initiative also has solar panels on top so our cars are running on clean electrons which means almost our entire rally has been as near carbon neutral as possible at the end of the rally the thoughts that come to our mind is that we have met a lot of warm hearted people who are extremely excited about electric vehicles especially in dehradun the state of uttarakhand we found that people are very environmentally conscious and they want things that are sustainable long lasting good quality uh, the electricity is already hydroelectric a lot of it is and uh, people over here want to install solar panels and do rainwater harvesting so basically the question that comes to mind is do you feel that dehradun and uttarakhand is the right place to have the first entirely 100% electric vehicle state or city uh, give us your comments below and let us know what you think about it uh, at the end we have a lot of people to thank all those companies which made these vehicles uh, the organizers of the rally plug in india places where we were allowed to charge the businesses the colleges the houses the homes and all the people who gathered around to make this such a memorable rally for us